I still like accepting random challenges. Makes you le less nervous, sort of. You don't need to don't need to choose. You also don't need to explain. Very comfortable. C four, e six. Okay, let's play h four maybe. Bishop e seven. Okay, now we go knight c three. C five. So what's the point of h four? Maybe there is no point. Okay, let's take on d five. And play bishop g5 maybe. Okay, now it kind of makes some little sense. Not that much, so yeah, let's say bishop e2, h6, yeah, and then we take probably take on c5 simply. And something like rook c1. But this guy seems to be quite strong, I would say. He's playing natural moves and he's playing them quickly. Which is... Which is very impressive. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Like knight e4, but it's a bit... I mean, a bit too dry to play for a win. So maybe we start with queen e4 followed by rook d1. Also, e4 is technically in there. He loves an ending, which is... Probably quite a good scenario for white, but it's still not much, of course. Bishop takes c3 is not a threat yet, right? I can play this. Ah, oh, maybe it is a threat, yeah? Okay, it doesn't matter anymore. Can I sacrifice a pawn with knight d4? I probably can. So the point after bishop takes h4 is something like... Okay, doesn't happen anyway. But now I start to like our position actually. So we go a3 first to chase the knight, then we take a6 and play, um, I don't know, bishop g4, or maybe g3 first. Okay, let's play g3. Or maybe knight a4. Yeah, let's try knight a4. Like there is not much going on, and if we Try to play for the wins, and at least we should not protect this h4 pawn. I mean, we should not protect it yet, yeah? I mean, if you will spend time in such a dry position for uh, for protect, uh, uh, protecting the pawn, then it will be very difficult to, to sort of play for the win. Knight a4 is at least ambitious. We want knight c5, which kind of kind of makes him makes him nervous I believe so knight c5 what do we want bishop takes b2 rook b1 then we take okay looks interesting to me also once again it's not that white is better otherwise so why not try it? Yeah, he simply plays uh, plays like this. So can we play knight b7, rook d7, and then some some brilliant trick like rook c2? Okay, let's play this first. At the very least, we have bishop a6. Maybe bishop a6 is just a very good move, by the way. Yeah, so bishop a6. Like if he takes on b2, then we will we'll win the rook in the end. If he plays rook c to c7, then I guess we have bishop b5. He probably has knight d4 there. Some knight d6 check, I don't know. I also like rook c2. 
So what happens after rook c2? After rook c2, he has knight e7 at very least, yeah. So we should probably should probably try bishop a6. So if he takes on b2, we'll probably survive this, yeah. We go rook c2 or something. Yeah, so he plays he plays this now bishop b5. Is knight d4 that obvious for everybody? I mean I thought I'm Sort of cool to, to find it. I mean, otherwise, I think white is in great shape. Maybe not, actually. Maybe you can just take on b7 and then take on b2. Play like this. Yeah, I'm not such a big fan of our position anymore, I must say. But yeah, white is probably pressing in all the lines without 94. So 94, what do we... Yeah, he plays it. So what do we have here? So we have 96 check. Let's say king is 7. We can take on c7 and play 98. Then knight takes b5 is there. Um, I mean, of course, we can just play ED, but then he takes on C1, takes on B7, and it's very, very dry. Yeah, I don't see it, I must say. Okay, let's play 96. Then after King E7, I mean, I'll probably just take... Yeah. So rook takes c1, I will go knight f5 check maybe. And try to play this position. I mean, I think it is a bit better for white, but it's, it's obviously far from being um, a real attempt. Bishop Bishop A six Bishop C eight was probably there, but I missed it. Okay. Yeah, but this is like slightly. I know H four is hanging here, so it's not slightly better. H five maybe. Now he has King E six. Yeah, I spoiled it. I spoiled it. It seems. Should I be trying to win this pawn down? Maybe not, yeah. On the other hand, why not? Okay, this is a blunder. Yeah, this was a sharp game. This 94 is a nice tactics, yeah. I mean I mentioned it in in the very end, but does it I mean, in the very beginning, but doesn't really work. Bishop a6, rook c7, bishop b5, knight d4. Let me look at it again. So what, what can we play here? Ed, rook c1, doesn't seem to work. Okay, knight d6 check looks logical. King is 7 so now I could, uh, I mean, maybe I should have played e takes d4, and after rook takes c1, simply rook takes c1, rook d6, rook c7, but I thought it shouldn't be really better, like king f8, and then you take on d4, it's not much. Otherwise, knight c7 runs into rook takes c7, followed by knight takes b5. Yeah, maybe 96 check is a mistake, or maybe there is not a... Yeah, I mean, I have a strange... Um, strange mindset that white 
should be better here, but actually why exactly? I mean, I don't know. With a knight on b7, it's not that you're always better with a knight on b7. Yeah, maybe we take on c7 and knight a8 once again, but then I thought it's knight takes b5. Yeah, I guess it is It is correct. Yeah, maybe white is not better at all. Maybe all this line was sort of reasonable. Then after rook b7, of course, I had to play uh, bishop a6. And then bishop c8 followed by uh, bishop takes c5. Then white is a bit better, I would say. But it's quite obvious that it's still, I mean, it's still within uh, this draw margin. All right.